Today I want to show you how you can make a contribution to the Sterling website, which is located on our server in Singapore. If you're part of the program, or if maybe you're traveling to Sterling, or if you're doing something like being a student representative, it would really be great if you could make a contribution to the site. Now, first of all, you need to get to the site, and the address is sterlingretail.info. Once there, you see the front page, which has a number of links including things like details about the retail marketing BA honors program and some other information. We also have some handy links down towards the bottom which link to things like the Sterling website or the Sterling portal where you can get your Sterling email or go into the web CT. Basically this website is to keep us up to date on what's happening in our program in Singapore and to give us some useful links. One of the features we've added, which is really important and you can help with, is under this What's Happening menu. Under What's Happening, you can see there's some information about what's happening in the Retail Marketing BA Honors Degree Program, and that's kept up to date by the program director or other administrators. We also have a blog section as well as a little introduction to the Singapore office. What I'm interested to show you today is about the blog section. If we click on the blog section, we can see that we have a number of blog entries. You have a title, for example, Sterling Main Campus Area, and then a little introduction, and then after the introduction, you have a little uh, read more link, and you can go ahead and read more there. If you want to get an RSS feed, you can just click to this feed entries here and this will give you an RSS feed and in your RSS reader you can be notified every any time there's an update to this section of the website. Now how can you contribute to this? Well first of all let's look at the front page and you'll see if you scroll down there's a login form. I've made it easy so that anyone can contribute at any time by logging in. Your login name is student and your password is Sterling is in Scotland. Click that login button and you can see now that we've been logged in. If I scroll down the login form does not have the blanks anymore. I'm already logged in. And up top I have something new called a user menu. That user menu has a link called submit article to blog. No matter where I am on the website, any place I am, I can see this up here user menu submit article to blog. If I'm for example looking over at what's happening in the retail marketing BA degree I can still see my user menu over on the side so anytime I can just click there and that will take me to a page that looks like this. This is where you can actually submit your article. Submitting your article will be just like a blog entry. You first of all need a title. So let me go ahead. I was recently over at Sterling, so I want to write about shopping there. So I'm going to say shopping in Sterling is my title. And then I'm going to make the body down here. Okay, now I've written my text, and I've also added a web link. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight that web link, and I want to make it linkable. And you can see we have this link icon, so I'm going to press that. This is very much like WebCT, so I'm going to say link over to there. Open me in another window, a blank window. Insert that. Okay, so that's linkable now. And you can see I have quite a, not a, lot, uh, quite a lot of a text here. So one thing I can do is, I don't want to have all of this text showing. I just want to have a little bit at the beginning, and then it can say, read more. So what I'm going to do is, in between the basic introduction and the big body, I'm going to come down and click this link that says Read More. And you see that red line? That means when a person goes to the blog, the first thing he'll see is the top beginning introduction. And then if he clicks Read More, he'll see all the rest. This will make things easy on the first page to read through a longer list. The next thing I want to do is I want to add some media, like a picture. So I'm going to head and push this button here, image. Just like WebCT, you get a directory that you can search through. These are photos that are already on the server. I want to add a new one, so I'm going to go ahead and browse to upload. So I'm going to browse my local computer, 
and I'm going to look for some photos I have there. Now I do have a photo I want to use. Let me show you. I have a photo of shopping through another mall and here it is right here. Now if I look at that photo and I look at its dimensions, it's really big. It's 490K, it's 1656 by 12 42 pixels, it's really large. That's not good for the website, it's too big. It's going to take too much time to upload and it will take up all the size, you know, in the in the browser. So what I want to do is make it smaller. You can use programs like Photoshop. I have an easy program for Windows that's called Resize Picture. And I can go ahead and click that and this will resize the picture to make it 640 by 480. That's kind of a perfect size for our website, 640 by 480. I say OK and you can see it saved it for me right there and now this size is 640 by 480 it's just 66k a much more reasonable size so keep that in mind so I'm going to go ahead and select that my picture was 6194 this one here it's going to go ahead and it's going to upload it you get a little uh, readout down here start upload there it goes. You did probably didn't see it, but it said 50%, 60%, 97%, 100% sent completed. So you can see it's complete. Now then I can look up here and see if I can find my picture. And there it is. Yes, I can find it. So I go ahead and select it. I can give it a description. Go ahead and give it a little description. You give it a title or do whatever you want. You can set it to be on the right side of the screen or the left side of the screen. I'm just going to keep mine right in the center. And then when I'm done, I go ahead and click this insert. So insert, and now you can see inside my blog entry, there is my photo. I'm going to add a little text here just before my photo. Now I'm almost all done. I could go ahead and format, uh, you know, using this just like Microsoft Word, make things some bold or whatever I want to do. The last thing I need to do is scroll down the web page. And I need to make sure I fill out this last little bit here, which is author alias. I need to tell who wrote this because remember we're using just student as the login name. That means anybody could have wrote it. So I'm going to go ahead and say Professor Warden wrote this. And I can change the date for publishing, but if I just leave it blank, it'll go up to the web page right away. You can tag the subjects with special tags if you want to, but you don't have to. I'm going to say shopping in shopping and sterling. Those will be my special tags. And then when I'm all done, up top I can... Now that the article has been submitted, we come back to the front page of the website. And if we look at what's happening menu, blogs, we can see that shopping in Sterling Indeed has come out. The first part here, before read more, is the little introduction I wrote. Remember then I inserted read more. This makes it easy to read quickly. Now I go ahead and click read more. And you can see this is my whole article. So here we have the introduction, the body, we have the link I had, we have the photograph of me shopping in Sterling. So this is a really great opportunity and I hope you can contribute, especially if you're doing something interesting related to the program or over in Sterling at the university, in Scotland, or in the UK in general. In general I'm going to be posting a lot more about my trips there too. Thanks a lot.